Hey guys, um, welcome to today's haul. Um, I'm gonna jump right into it because I have a bunch of stuff to show you guys. I'm gonna start off with Grace Design Store. So Grace actually reached out to me and asked if she could send me some stickers to, um, to review and share with you guys. And to be honest, I wasn't expecting much of it, but she sent me so many stickers and they're like really big sticker sheets. And I was just like, oh my God, you're so nice. But um, yeah, so I'll just go through the stickers with you and just talk about the quality. So here they're actually um, unpeeled. And she told me that, um, which I thought was really interesting because I've never received stickers that were unpeeled. And by unpeeled, I mean like the backdrop is unpeeled. So there's only like the sticker, the actual sticker left and no background on the sticker sheet. So she explained to me that um, uh, they did it like that because they actually have some disabled um, customers and it actually makes it easier for them. But now she offers them um, peeled. Wait, have I been saying that they're unpeeled? I meant that they're, they are peeled. I'm so sorry. Um, as in she peels the backdrop off before she sends it. But um, now she offers them as unpeeled. And if you want them to be peeled, you could just leave a comment uh, before you check out and she will make that possible for you, which I think is such a nice touch. But um, I thought that was really considerate of her, of her customers. But anyway, I'm gonna go right into the stickers. Um, so these are really cute like yoga or meditation stickers and they're really, really, really nice. They're on the bigger end of the spectrum, so that's something to keep in mind. And the quality is so amazing. It's very similar, I'd say, to Sweet Kawaii Design for those of you who have tried her out. Um, they are matte stickers, but the quality of the sticker is so great. And I think it's because I don't know anything about printing stickers, but my understanding is that the actual printers that they use are really like high quality. So the ink and is really great and it makes the sticker really saturated in color. So that's the closest comparison I can give you guys is to Sweet Kawaii Design. Like they're pretty much um, the same. Like they they have a sheen to them even though they are matte. So I hope that made sense. This is just a little purse with money sticking out, which is so cute. I don't have anything like this, but you can use this for so many things. Um, for me personally, I think I'll use it for um, like refilling my wallet with cash because oftentimes I run out of cash and I'm completely dependent on my cards. So that's always a good reminder. Then she sent me this movie set. So you've got like the movie marquee, which by the way, movie marquee stickers are my absolute favorite kinds of stickers to mark movies, whether or not I go to see them in the theater. Even if I watch them at home, I love marking it with these. So I, as you'll see, I also have, I bought um, a bunch of Squirrel Prince Co. movie marquee stickers as well. Um, then there are like these tickets and these are so cool guys. They're like 3D movie um, stickers. So if you, if you're gonna go watch a 3D movie, this is so cool. And you could just like layer it on top of like the marquee sticker. I think that's, I haven't seen anything like this and I think that's awesome. And then there are just these TV screens. They look really vintage to me, especially because of like the, the colored bar things. I've always wondered what that meant. If you guys know, let me know, I don't know. And then some popcorn stickers. I have a lot of popcorn stickers, but these are really great too. Um, something to keep in mind is that I think most of her stickers have a white um, border around the stickers. Some people like it, some people don't. It's really just preference. I don't mind it at all. I don't really have a preference, so it's totally okay with me. Next up is this, and I think this is my favorite. It's her Halloween set, and oh my goodness, they are just so cute. Um, I think pretty much everything has a face on it. Or no, never mind. These don't have faces. So you have like cauldrons and like mummies and haunted houses. And then this has like spooky with like 
uh, Frankenstein. It's just, they're, it's amazing and I can't wait to use these for my Halloween spreads. Oops, sorry about that. Um, next up, she sent me this set here, which is actually a horizontal planning kit and it's a cherry themed one, I think. Yeah, cherries. Um, and you get like these button labels on the side. They're so cute. I think I will, I won't probably use this as a whole. I'll probably do a separate cherry themed spread because I really want to use these four colors in the middle here, like these pastels, to do like a pastel themed spread. So I'll like base it off of these four colors and use like these button, the corresponding button labels. And I don't know, I haven't really decided yet what I'm going to do with this. Then she sent me this, which is kind of like a mix of things, but it really reminds me of summer because actually now that I think about it, I think it's a summer themed spread. Um, you have like beach time, vacation, sweet holidays, sun, be sun beach, uh, beach wear, enjoy travel, action, swimming. So these are actually really great for scrapbooking as well, not just for planning. So I really recommend these if you're a scrapbooker as well, specifically this sheet of stickers. Um, I live in New York, so summer is kind of not, uh, I mean, it's kind of like going bye-bye right now, but that's okay. I, I always have next summer. Okay, so all those stickers I showed you were matte, but this one is actually glossy. This was the only sheet that she sent me in glossy. And um, let's see how, what can I compare these to? Um, I don't think I've tried any other glossy stickers that remind me of this one. This kind of just reminds me of store-bought stickers. I don't know if that makes sense, but that's what it reminds me of. Um, and I really like it, but again, these are great for scrapbooking as well as for your planner. Um, they're so cute. You get a bunch of gift boxes, then a bunch of different happy birthdays um, in different sizes. You get these little birds holding presents. These are my favorite. And this bird holding balloons. And you get them in a bunch of different sizes, so it's super cute. Then she got me these um, cup... Oh, we're back to matte stickers, by the way. And then she gave me these cupcake stickers, and literally every single row, I mean column, is a different cupcake. And it's so freaking pretty like it's just beautiful i love it and again they are on the bigger side something to keep in mind which is kind of similar to sweet kawaii design as well because her sweet kawaii designs original stickers are also on the bigger side but she did come out with um itty bitties now but yeah they're both like my favorite shops right now so um then she got me these car wash stickers which don't really apply to me because i don't own a car my family does but i don't really keep track of when my parents wash their car but um then there are also these bins like trash bins or trash cans i don't know why i called it a bin isn't i think that's a european thing but um it comes in a bunch of different colors and what i'll say is that the colors are a bit more muted here but that's what I like. I like muted colors as opposed to bolder colors. So her color scheme's a bit more on the muted side, but it's still vibrant in saturation. I hope that makes sense. Then she sent these cake stickers and they're so freaking awesome. So you get these sliced pieces of cakes and you also get these whole cakes. And they look so delicious. Like, it's making me so hungry looking at them. They're really, really cool. Last but not least, she sent me these icon stickers. And there are so many icons here. And I think I was on her shop, and I think they're called, like, Planner Basics. Or I forget the name, but it's, like, a good starter kit for planners. So, firstly, the first two sets here are so awesome because... The blue ones are like um, with an arrow up sign, which is like, I guess if you're depositing money 
and then this one is an arrow down sign so if you're withdrawing money and I don't have anything like that so that's really really helpful then you have like these credit card stickers house car um, what is that oh I, I think maybe like grocery list because it's like a clipboard with some vegetables on the side uh, gas um, gas pumps dinner uh, shopping carts, dumbbell, working out, muscle dude, briefcase or suitcase, a slice of cake, camera, and a thumbnail. So this is a really good range of icon stickers and I would really recommend it for a beginner. So I actually loved your stickers so much that I went ahead and placed my own order and I'll show you guys what I got. So, um, Firstly, she sent this little envelope of uh, one second. Okay, so in the envelope, uh, she sent a bunch of little samples here. So, let's put these out of the way. Okay, so first she just sent her card saying thank you and I hope you enjoy your stickers, blah, blah, blah. And then, okay, so first I got these little cupcakes here. Um, I got some more purses with money sticking out. I got these checklists. I got this full box of like stars on a blue background. Then I got this um, full box saying the secret of getting ahead is getting started. She actually spell, spelled ahead wrong, but I think maybe that's why it's just like a mistake thingy or something then this one says happy birthday meditation sticker oh my god this is so cute it's like a electronic mixer and an apron this is actually my favorite oh my god i love it car wash stickers and then these are like warnings so like a thunderstorm warning a tornado warning or a hurricane warning I'm not sure. But thank you so much, Grace. That was so sweet of you. Oh, wait, my actual order. Okay, so firstly, I got these, um, what are they called? Headers. There we go. I normally get my headers from a Hello Stationery Co., but I figured I would try uh, Grace Designs because I was so impressed with her quality that um, I wanted to try out her headers, and I'm so happy. So I think this is where I will be getting my headers from now on because Ovalo Stationery Co. only does one color, but she uh, does all four of these colors. So you get, so I got morning, day, and night, but obviously you can customize it to whatever she does take custom orders. And you get it in this burnt orange color, this tan color, a gray, a dark gray color, and this dark brown color. And the main October colors are these two, but these are great. So, um, what was I going to say about this? Oh, let's see how many you get. Three, six, nine, twelve. So you get twelve of each color. Um, so I kind of wish that maybe there were fourteen of each color so that you could get a full two weeks with each um, set of headers. I think that would have been really great. And I would definitely suggest that to Grace so that um, it would be like more helpful for her customers. Then I got this full box set which I thought was so cute. I don't think I'll use it anytime soon because it is kind of fall now and these are kind of like summery and light. But um, these are like a vintage kind of a theme because with the floral and then like the check and the polka dots and the colors just I really want to do a spread based on this and last but not least I got her autumn kit which unfortunately I have used up as you guys can see um, because I didn't get a chance to film before I could show you guys the full set but this is what's left of it um, I will link my horizontal plan with me I actually use this in my horizontal 
uh, planner, but this was meant for the vertical planner, but it was very easy to manipulate the stickers to work with the horizontal planner. So I will link down that plan with me down below in case you guys want to see it. This bird is so beautiful and I really recommend it whether or not you have a horizontal planner or a vertical one. This is awesome. Okay, next up is Scribble Prince Co. And boy, did I get a lot of stickers from her. Um, let's just make sure that you guys are in focus. Oh, let me zoom in a little bit. Yes, okay. All right, that's good. So this is several orders, as you guys can tell by the number of samplers here. <laughs> But um, I didn't realize how much I ordered from her until I put it all together and I got this thick stack. So let me just go through it super quickly. So firstly, I did pick up her pink lemonade set. Oh, there we go. This is her pink lemonade set and it's so cute. Obviously, I won't be doing this spread anytime soon because pink lemonade is super um, summery. And I bought this for my vertical planner um, because I already did a pink lemonade spread in my horizontal. So this will be used in my vertical. Then I picked up these two uh, sheets. Um, they're part of her like little things section, but I don't have a section like that, but I would still use it for like important things or just other things. So again, I love her color scheme for her rainbow items. So I really recommend these. Then I got two sets of weather stickers. I've already used some of them, but I really like it because you have like the weather for the day and then you can write the low and the high on either side of the specific weather icon. Then I got a bunch of sets. So this was her mermaid set super pretty and i think i will do this in the fall at some point um i don't think i'm gonna do plan with me's for them though because i think there are so many plan with me's using like the scribble prints co sets that it's not really like i don't think you guys would really enjoy it so i'm not sure that i would do a plan with me if, when i use her sets but if you guys still want to see it then then maybe i will but i don't know but this is so pretty because I love the um, inclusion of the glitter uh, stickers in there. So pretty. Then I got the vintage floral set. Super cute. I also, I'm going to do this one in October at some point, I think. Yeah, I'm going to do it in October. Then I got the... Whoa, what is this called? I forget. Fall floral or something? And this one is beautiful. Um, not sure when I'm gonna use this one either. Maybe October. Maybe I'm set for October. Yeah, I think I am. Okay, then I got one sheet of her little things. I wasn't really drawn to this because I don't separate my vertical planner in to do today and little things. I just stick to morning, day, and night. But I figured if I ever wanted to, I could try it out, so I got it for that reason. But then I realized that they're a rainbow of colors, so even if you wanted to, like, color match, it wouldn't really, like, work out because you only have one of each, like, one set of each color, unless you do a rainbow theme, which I might do, so maybe it'll be for that. I don't know. And then, like I said about Movie Marquee stickers, I did get two backups because my other one is almost out, to be honest, because I use these for, like, any movie that I watch, no matter where it is, because I love them so much. And the color is, like, there's always a color that matches with these. Then I got two sets of vertical full boxes. I already have the horizontal version of these. I did get the vertical one and I got two sets. I did use one in my last plan with me. I really like them. I don't use them every day the way Andrea and Elle 
and all the like no space, I mean no white space people use them. I use them maybe like once or twice a week and so these will suffice. Um, okay, and then I got her October set. I love her monthly kits. I know you guys probably hear a lot about them from everybody on YouTube. I really love them too, so I'm not going to talk about it too much, but you get five sheets, a functional sheet, a sheet of like checklists and page flags, um, some teardrops and some full boxes, um, bill do and headers, and a washi pack. And this month's washi pack is really, really, really pretty. Um, these are like the Planner Kate, um, I don't know what these flowers, I guess? And these leaves are absolutely gorgeous. Love that. And I also got some matching accessories. So, let me tell you guys a story and I'll try to be short with it. So I got these in the mail and I was like, whoa, these are a different sticker paper. They're still glossy, but they're different. They're not the original Scribble Prince Co. sticker paper. They're, it's a thinner glossy paper. And when I opened my package, I was super duper upset. I'll admit that. Like, and I wasn't upset because of the change in sticker paper so much as I was upset that I thought that she was changing her sticker paper without announcing that she was changing her sticker paper, which I thought was really unfair. And it didn't seem like something that Andrea would do because she's like, she's just so awesome so it just didn't seem like something that she would do and i follow her on social media everywhere and i and she didn't mention anything about a change in sticker paper so long story short i was super upset but i messaged her on etsy and she got to me like right away and she was like i i messaged saying like oh you know was this a mistake are you changing the sticker paper i just really like to know thank you and she said actually there was an error in they like they got like oh from the sticker paper that the sticker paper company that they order from they sent like a different batch or something and um because they purchased their sticker paper in bulk so um it just happened and um they didn't think it was different enough that they would have to mention it or like discard it or whatever and i totally get that and i'm totally fine with these they're glossy sticker paper it's what she advertises them to be so i was just confused and that's why i was upset but i'm no longer upset because that has been cleared up so if you guys were in the same boat where you were like what um that's the reason but um yeah so i got two sets of these half boxes super really 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 pretty colors here i got two sets of the full boxes really pretty and two sets of the three heart checklist half boxes i use these to meal track on the bottom bar of my vertical planner and last but not least from squirrel prince co is this new accessory that she came out with and it's just a bunch of little tiny things that go next to the date and you get like a bunch of like monthly theme things so, like trick-or-treat happy halloween pumpkin picking corn maze and you get four paydays you get mani pedi hair appointment let's party game night vacation date night movie night birthday cleaning day and then some hearts asterisks and blanks i'm not sure if i'll get these again it kind of depends i'll see how i utilize these this month and then i'll decide but i think this is something that she's doing for every single month so yeah that's it for scroll prints co Okay, next up I've got Planner K, and I've picked up quite a few things from her. So, firstly, I picked up her Oct- oh god, this is a mess. Um, I picked up her October washi set. There we go. So, you get these strips for the, um, the bottom of the Erin Condren. This is for the left side, and this is for the right side. Then you get these and these which are more halloween themed well they're, they're basically all halloween themed but they're really cute so i'm excited to use that 
Then I got another bookmark. This one is so cute. I love it. And I also got this one here. There we go. This one, which I like. I really like it a lot. And it goes perfectly with my theme uh, this week. Well, not theme so much as color scheme. Oh, and this was the sample with the three flowers. Then I also got this washi set, which um, has like, it's like black and pink and mint. And it's so pretty. And I thought I could do a scheme, uh, a color scheme with these. Or like some of these, like I want to do a black one one day. And so maybe these will come in handy. Then for the actual stickers, I got two of these color uh, checklists. One is like the lighter colors, more dim, more muted colors. And these are the bolder colors. These are for the horizontal layout, by the way. Uh, I also got one in the horizontal October colors. Then I got two of the double dotted label thingy majiggies. I really love these, so I decided to pick up another two. I got one in the Erin Condren vertical October colors, in the uh, horizontal October colors. And last but not least, I got these hydrate stickers because I'm thinking of moving my my hydration tracking into my vertical planner. So I'm going to see how it goes with these. Okay, that was good and quick. Next up is just the mystery kit from the alex studio which i'm going to go through super quickly so this is the first card i mean the the card print thing that you get it's really nice and cute the bats have little googly eyes and um the pumpkins are super cute oh and you got a little goodie bag too which comes with some candy and goodies then you got this full box sticker that just says alex studio november mystery collection then you got the Wacky Holidays for October, a set of banners, and the color scheme for this is basically orange, purple, and green, so it's super cute. Then you get this, which is kind of new. Um, I haven't seen this in the past few mystery kits. You get three glitter full boxes and some page flags and some half, well, this might be like a third of a box, not a half a box. Then you get these strips, which like the Planner Kate ones are for the bottom, but they're like thinner. Well, they don't have to be for the bottom. Um, I guess you can use them um, like, uh, along the whole way here. Like, in, as opposed to having separate headers, you could just put those down. So you have a lot of options with these, I guess. Then you get this and this which are like the classic sheets that she has this one has four full boxes mini dots big dots this one has three sets of seven headers each mini dots teardrops mini two drops big dots and some more little dots and of course your decorative sheet of halloween goodness and this sheet is actually just adorable it's so cute and everything's pretty like kawaii so i love it and i also had a separate order from her this was the sampler that came it's super fall themed there's a little um reindeer and a pork pine or a hedgehog rather i don't know checklist dots and teardrops as well as a full sheet of full boxes and some of these full boxes overlap with these full boxes included in the kit but I got it so that I could have a good range of full boxes to work in both my vertical planner as well as my horizontal planner for my Halloween week. Okay, awesome. Last but not least is my happy scrappy planner kit from August. Yeah, August, I think. Maybe September. No, it's August, okay. So the first thing here is this Hello Kitty pen and it's so cute and it has a really nice and 
thin tip, as do all the pens that she includes. Um, you get this little cell phone or planner charm. Oh, this month's theme was like beauty and perfume and makeup and all that jazz. So the charm is like um, a perfume bottle. It's so cute. Then you get some Kate Spade clips. I'm not sure if there was more. No, I think it's just these two. You get the bow clip and then this like and sign. I don't know what, I forget the official name for this, but it's super cute. Then you get this full sheet, I mean full pack of sticky markers and they're like trans, semi-transparent. It's, it's a strange consistency, but it's different and I like it. You get this little girl memo, which I think is appropriate for the theme. Then you get these perfume bottle stickers, which are so cute and they're very um, much representative of real life bottles, so it's really nice. You get this washi thing. It's not exactly that thin, like it's an in-between size and it's just watercolor hearts. It's so pretty, I love it. You get these Project Life cards, well, like journaling cards. This says protect your lips, make beautiful things, a little compact mirror, every flower must grow through dirt, happiness is the best makeup, inner beauty is great but a little mascara never hurt, beauty begins the moment you decide to be yourself. Eye cream, be yourself. Happiness is the best makeup. And just some goodies there. So those are super cute. And then for the actual inserts, let's see here. Yeah. Okay. So you get like this bookmark, page marker thing. And it just says, happy girls are the prettiest on the perfume bottle. And the back just has a bunch of little makeup thingies. So pretty. Oh, and you get another one, and this one says, A smile a smile is the best makeup a girl can wear. Marilyn Monroe. And again, the back just has a bunch of makeup things. That's so cute. Okay, and then you have a bunch of inserts. And this time, it's not one type of insert. It's several. It's like four four or five sheets of several different kinds. So you get to do with nail polish bottles along the bottom here. So adorable. And they are double-sided. Then you get like uh, just normal lined paper. Uber cute. Then you get shopping list. That's appropriate for most of us, I think. Then you get grid paper. And last but not least, this kind of blank paper with this like doodly kind of drawing along the borders. So if you guys have a ringed binder, a ringed planner, or a traveler's notebook, I really recommend the Happy Scrappy kits because they're honestly like, they're really cute and I've never been disappointed and her kits honestly, like they actually honestly just get better and better and better every single month. So. That's it for my haul video, I think. Yeah. And um, thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys have any questions, please leave them down below. I will try and remember to link all the shops in the description box. So thanks again so much. Don't forget to subscribe and like this video. Bye.